Hi, welcome back to Sotoku Tech. I've been working with the Arduino Giga Display Shield, and I've made several videos so far already examining the various different libraries and example sketches for the Giga Display Shield and the Giga R1 Wi Fi. And we've come all the way to this point where we will be working with the camera connector on the Giga Display Shield. So this is the Giga Display Shield camera guide here. These are the compatible cameras HM01B0, HM0360, GC2145, and OV7675. In Arduino IDE, you want to make sure you've installed the Arduino Embed OS Giga Boards board support package. This allows you to select the Giga R1 <laughs> under Arduino Embed OS Gigaboards in Board Manager. Yeah, we talked about the compatible cameras. Oh yeah, you also need this library, ArduCam DVP. So in Library Manager, I'm typing Arduino DVP. I still find it. There you see it's installed. Now the example sketch we're going to be using is under File, Examples, Camera and Giga Camera Display. Okay, there's not much to talk about in this sketch. Really, it's just that defining the correct camera for the one that you have attached. So you have to make sure this define line has the correct camera reference. So the OV7576 camera and the GC2145 cameras are color cameras. And you see they'll be in image mode RGB565 whereas the HM01B0 and HM0360 are going to be in grayscale mode. A <laughs> true story. I actually mounted the camera on the wrong side. You're supposed to mount it like you see here. It actually fits on the back of the Giga Display Shield, kind of like you'd expect the lens to be facing away from the screen of the camera, but they're telling you here <laughs> it's got to be facing the same direction as the display. Yeah, I actually posted a question in the forum and they got back to me. Thanks a lot for that. Yeah, I, I'm moving so fast sometimes I don't bother to read things and then I have to figure it out later on. Actually, when that OV7675 camera wasn't working, put in the wrong way, I went ahead and bought the other three. They're only five or six bucks each at arducam.com. Okay, so I've had added a block here with all of the define lines there and then commented out. So you can just uncomment the line that you want to go with for the camera that you have attached. Looks like we're going to start out with the HM01B0. Yeah, here it is on the ArduCam website. And this is 320 by 320 pixels up to QVGA 60 degree, 60 degree field of vision. All right, here we've fired it up. Not a bad image, and it's oriented correctly, and somehow the sketch auto-rotates so that, that the image is always oriented the same way. That's very interesting. I thought I read that these also have some sort of motion sensor circuit. Let's check out that field of vision here. I've just got the camera is one foot away from the camera that I'm using to shoot the video, and then I'm using a ruler here, and I'm just going to put my fingers just outside of the field of view, so we'll know how much is actually showing. So that's 8 inches at the distance of 12 inches away. Okay, up next it's the HM0360. We're going to uncomment that line, go ahead and send it from the Arduino IDE up to the Giga R1. The HM0360 is 640 by 480 pixels up to VGA, 64 degree field of vision. Let's go ahead and fire that up. It is a better image because you got more megapixels. Damn, he's good looking. Let's get our field of vision measured out here. I thought that this was an interesting comparison since I had to happen to have all four of the cameras that are compatible with the Giga Display Shield. It's like it had to be made. 
Okay, how much was that? Okay, that's 10 and a half inches at the 12 inch uh, distance between the two cameras. So you can see that 64 degree field of vision really pays off with an extra two and a half inches of vision there. And you got more megapixels. Okay, up next was the first camera that I had, the OV7675. We're going to go ahead and upload that. Okay, this is a 0.3 megapixel camera, 640 by 480 up to VGA, 63.9 degree field of vision. There's some artifacts around the image at the various uh, lines between the different colors. You can see its color. Uh, the colors aren't very rich. Let's take a look. We got something here. Yeah, here's the Arduino box. And yeah, that blue doesn't quite come through. You can tell it's blue. You can see the flesh tones of my face, but it's not, the colors aren't very deep. And like I say, there's some sort of artifacts apparent in the image. But I'm sure it's completely useful for image recognition, etc. Let's check out the field of vision here. Okay, that's 11 inches at the 12 inch distance between those two cameras. Okay, last but not least is the GC2145 camera. We'll go ahead and uncomment that defined statement and upload it. This GC2145 is a 2 megapixel camera, 640 by 480 up to VGA, with an 80 degree field of view. I didn't really measure a, a greater, oh, the color looks great. Yeah, look at that. And there's none of that artifact. Yeah, the image is very clear. You're getting your money's worth with this camera here. Yeah, the skin tones are better. That blue shows through nicely. Yeah. Yeah, that's a lot better. Of course, it's a two megapixel camera. Let's get our field of view. I was expecting more with a 80 degree field of view, but it actually came out, it looks like it came out less. I might have to test that again. Maybe I'll leave a comment later on if I get a different result. Because it only, I got 9.5 inches wide at the 12 inch distance between the cameras. I would have expected it to be more than the OV76. 7.5 camera with a 63.9 degree field of vision. Okay, leave a comment down below on what you'd like to hear about the Arduino Giga Display Shield, the Giga R1 Wi-Fi, or any of these cameras, because I've got all the cameras here. And give this video a like. And before you go watch more of my Giga Display Shield videos, please click on subscribe. Thank you very much.